Before I go into any details about rating pet insurances I would like to share with you a little about what I believe pet insurance is all about and how it has evolved over the last decade or two. From an article I read recently, it was stated that the pet insurance industry has evolved from only covering 1% of the pets in the US in 1995 while they are above 5% today. That is a 500% increase on a little over 10 years and it shows a clear trend that more and more people would pay whatever it takes to have their pet live longer. The reason I say this is that pet owners are normally divided into two very different categories. The first category is the people that are rather pragmatic about having a pet animal. If the animal gets sick and the cost of treatment is above a certain amount they would rather put the animal to sleep than to spend thousands of dollars on treatment and medication. The second group of people is those who would do almost whatever it took to treat their pet animal for any diseases and injuries that it may encounter. Why is this an important observation when it comes to pet insurance? That is mainly because a pet insurance payment will normally over the lifetime of a pet cost somewhere between $2,000 to $6,000. If we look back in time there were basic treatments for pet animals but most of them weren't that expensive and most people could easily have paid for them out of their pocket. Today however, the pet medical industry has started selling organ transplants and MRI scans. Something that was previously reserved only for humans. When factoring in those costs, which could range from $1,000 to $5,000 public relations treatment, then a pet insurance will suddenly be a much better choice as most people don't have that kind of cash lying around. Probably the oldest pet insurance company, PPI Pet Insurance, has seen its revenue climb with a 40% annual rate since 1997 and is estimated to have about 85% of the total pet insurance market, 2005 figures. That amounts to $110 million in gross sale. 